Hey what's up decisive marketers and in today's video I have yet another video editor to uh, to share with all your uh, all of you right it's a video um, creation tool and but with this tool it's a little bit different from what I've already introduced to all of you previously uh, because with this tool it is able to help you create animated illustrations right it's able to uh, create videos and add animated illustrations into your video itself and to make them a little bit more exciting and with this video uh, editor tool you are able to create uh, you know some of the good use cases would be user onboarding video uh, you can use it for your webinar slide presentation you can use it for uh, you know uh, introducing your your latest SaaS or mobile app or uh, just a logo animation uh, introduction uh, and, and any other kind of uh, promotional videos right um, this tool would be great for that right and this this uh, tool itself is called video right it's video but spelled with a W okay and before we get started in video um, video right be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we are uh, let's dive into video okay right so here we are in uh, video so it's very simple just click on tutorials and you can start uh, working on your new video so they have a ton of uh, te templates right here so you can choose what you like okay so they have a lot of uh, animated videos uh, video templates in here that you can you know make use of and make some slight adjustments and you can ready uh, to publish and share it uh, with the world right so um, what I'm gonna do right now is to actually jump back into my um, my projects over here okay and I've already created something right here okay so let's give the editor a moment to start um, loading okay right so here we are in the mobile app uh, sorry this is the uh, the the video editor mode and uh, this is how it looks like right so for example this is the first scene I'm gonna turn up the vol uh, the uh, volume okay so there we go so this is how it looks like um, okay so firstly what we're gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna point out some of the you know uh, I would say some limitations in this tool itself is that the, let's take a look at the music so I'm going to click on sounds here and uh, these are some of the music I'm going to play them for you oops sorry I just clicked on the wrong button Okay, sorry, I think that was a little bit loud. Let me just um, bring down the volume. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to show you some, for example, the ones that we probably would use a little bit more often would be the motivational tracks, right? So I'm going to bring them up. Um, so these are usually good for your marketing videos. Okay, so I'm just showing you the... Uh, the the audio that they actually provide the music that they provide and uh, you can tell that that was 
really not very good right so i'm going to show you the rest as well okay this one was pretty decent okay um, this was quite decent that is quite usable in many situations let me bring up the rest Okay, so that was, you know, the music, right? So the third one was a little bit uh, distracting, I think, because of the a lot of syncopation in the music itself. And you can tell that from a lot of uh, the music that they provide, it's like, um, it comes from very low quality uh, sound libraries, where it's you know, made from uh, MIDI, MIDI music, right? <laughs> MIDI sounds, and, and it's not um, really good at to in my opinion right the, the quality is not very good and you can see that the library isn't very big right it's just like that okay so it's not many different um, choices that you have and the next thing is that you have the text to speech right here right so let's say I will create uh, introducing mobile app okay so what happens then I got to select a voice that I want to use right so Okay, so let's say I would choose this one right here. Introducing mobile app. Okay, so it's the this is the uh, Indian uh, English accent. Okay, and then we have some uh, American one. Let's try this this one. Introducing mobile app. Okay, my apologies. I I kind of muted the uh, sound right so let me just bring it up again so this one is the uh, American voice introducing mobile app and I'm gonna show you the uh, Indian voice Introdu introducing mobile app okay so the, so one thing about the text-to-speech of course is not as powerful as some dedicated text-to-speech tool but you can see that the naming of the voices um, it's very weird over here um, and they don't you know you, you, it takes you a while to try and understand what is what kind of language is the voice for example like B N I N I have no idea what that is like A R X A you know a lot of these so it's not being sorted properly uh, this one will be like I think uh, Cantonese voices Thai voices Vietnamese okay and what happens is that uh, there is no way for you to instantly upload it into your my audios page right here so what happens is that with the text-to-speech you got to download the mv3 file and then re-upload it in here right? so that's a little bit um, you know not very um, how to say convenient right it's not a convenient way to do things right here uh, and then we've got uh, insert images so you they have some images uh, image library in here and I would think that they are actually quite okay in terms of the you know the library itself right for the images as for videos so this videos will be your own right okay so what so what happens is that for videos you you got to actually click on the scene and you can add in templates that they have here so as you can see when, when I scroll down um, there's not many choices in here right so the, the templates are a little bit um, missing right here and then these are images 
uh, which is also very limited right here so that isn't a lot even though that they market themselves as a animation uh, video creator there's not many templates that you can actually make use of right so that's something that's missing okay and uh, so the editor works like this okay so you let's say you want to edit the objects you gotta unlock the objects and you know edit them around and every single object uh, you can choose for example if I would add an image in here let's say I add in maybe I add a shape in here and let's put a number uh, a, a color okay then uh, I can actually choose the animation right so right now there's no animation in here so I got to select what kind of animation maybe I want to ha have it zoomed zoom in okay so that's how it's coming in or I can let's say what is this okay so there's a hand okay so this is interesting right so there's a hand that comes in and plays the item in here the object in here right that's very interesting you got a fly let's see what happens so it just slides and that's all okay so we got zoom in we got grow so this one should be from small to big Right, different animation bounce that's quite straightforward okay so the speed is a little bit too fast let's try and extend it okay so that makes it better okay so this is the animation and then you can have an outgoing animation as well right so maybe we we'll have a hand taking the star away Okay, then the, it's gonna, the hand is gonna remove it, right? Can you see that? Okay. So the hand comes in, grab the, st the star and move it away. So that's quite fun, right? Okay, keyframe. Okay, so this is where you know you make your adjustments in here. Okay. So that's how it works for the animation, and uh, basically you work based on scenes, right? Scene by scene. right so you can increase the scene length as well right so you can set how long the scene is okay so you can increase or decrease every single scene uh, i think that's actually very interesting for the you know adjusting the scene length uh, and uh, you can change I guess the aspect ratio so let's see what happens okay so it's actually cropping out so that's not a very good idea right it's actually cropping out the video right so that's not really what we want okay so and then uh, let's see here we got sound we got text and then we got insert background so they have a couple of backgrounds in here but once again um, you can see that they don't really have a very good um, number of choices in the uh, in the options that you get right so the, the library is a little bit small here so this one is the image what is this I think this is the phone maybe this is some circles this is a placeholder okay okay and uh, I and you can okay so uh, with when it comes to uh, video right one thing really easy to work with is that 
you can actually just click on the template colors that you want right so you can select uh, let's say green of course that's not a good idea uh, you can select you know uh, your template color so you can choose um, what you know your branding colors and insert them and easily choose your branding for the scene itself uh, that's that makes it easier and uh, they have a presentation mode and a uh, video mode which I'm not really sure what it is right now let me just take a look at the help center and see if there's anything here okay presentation okay so I guess it makes it a uh, presentation right it turns it into a slideshow presentation okay so that means when you click it okay it turns into uh, like a slideshow itself okay so that's uh, so that's actually convenient because if you want to be uh, let's say doing some onboarding videos then using presentation mode will be good right and uh, you have an onboarding video uh, introducing our app and then uh, this is the uh, menu sorry maybe this is the project project menu and uh, this is how it, how it looks like right so you can do something like that with uh, video by using the presentation mode so that's actually very convenient and then you can pan the entire project itself as well with this and of course um, some zoom options in here so pretty much you know this is a uh, video it's a very simple uh, tool and one thing they focus a little bit on is the animation right um, the uh, animated illustrations I would say and I think that that hand you know swiping away the or, or put placing the item the object on the video I think that's very interesting as well uh, so 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 they do have some really interesting uh, animation and animated illustrations but you know with most of the illustrations you can't really uh, tweak them at all uh, they are all based on templates and at the moment the templates uh, for the scenes are limited the stock images are limited the audio the music it's very limited and at the moment really I would say low quality uh, uh, for now and uh, I think that you will still be able to create some nice videos uh, ni nice animation animated illustration videos but you would need to uh, it, you might come across a little bit generic at the moment so you you might have to have some creativity when you when you make use of video uh, overall I would say that with the current progress of video I would say that it's is doing decently well uh, I, I think overall I would say that this tool is decent but it's definitely not something that I would uh, make use of right now uh, uh, you know it's not it's not a tool that I will use uh, right now probably when uh, they have increased the number of uh, stocks uh, stock library improve their stock library itself then we can consider uh, making use of video and also the uh, text-to-speech feature is not convenient as well because you got to download the audio and re-upload it into video itself and that's pretty much um, what I think about video let me know what you think of video in the comments below if you have any questions feel free to share with us and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, you know lastly if you enjoyed uh, what I shared with you today please you know uh, feel free to share this with a friend who you think could benefit from video and i'll see you in my next episode